Take a look at this video from our sister station in Buffalo. You can see how the winds are impacting the water there of Lake Erie. The high winds cause a lot of issues there from the snow and the tree damage. Well, this is something we yesterday experienced in Northwest Ohio. It's called a sash. Meteorologist Davis Wells is here to break down what exactly a sash is. As that bomb cyclone moved across the Great Lakes, it created some very powerful winds even locally here just in western Lake Erie. And these areas actually saw the water go down and even in some instances exposing the lake bed. These very strong winds were able to pull right across Lake Erie and just on the other side, Buffalo, New York, all that water that was displaced from where we are right now, this has been able to force into the eastern channels of Lake Erie and they actually saw some coast still flooding as a result. Very powerful winds gusting up to 60 miles an hour, even higher in some instances. Take a look at some of these images that were sent in. This is at Mommy Bay State Park. This is the bottom of Lake Erie. In fact, if you look closely here too, people were able to walk out into where the lake would typically be if uh, the water levels had not receded so much. Another view too, this is looking towards Mommy Bay State Park, more looking more inland. This is the exposed lake bed and quite a powerful storm that was able to move through our area. And we do get satious from time and time again, but because of the water displacement uh, dropping so much here in Toledo and rising so much over in Buffalo, created for a significant storm. Reporting in studio, meteorologist Davis Wells, WTOL 11.